natural nail guru how are you out there i'm super excited because we have another beetles gel polish kit to swatch and this one is a big one it is the pink generation there are 20 colors in here and of course you get base top and matte so let's do the unboxing let's get to the swatching and before we do if you guys want to be up to date with all of the most thorough product reviews best swatches all the tips that are going to help improve the health of your natural nails while giving you the longest lasting manicures then you know what to do make sure that you're subscribed make sure you have your notifications on make sure that you're sharing with all of your fellow nail enthusiasts because whether you're diy or professional i promise you there's information on this channel that's going to help you out keep your clients longer keep them happier and get those manicures lasting longer so definitely make sure you take care of that let's not waste any more time let's get to this unboxing Woo. Okay, so here we have it. You got your 20 colors. I always love the Beatles packaging. It's super colorful, cute little ladybug that's always there. Let you know some of its, I guess, most um, valuable qualities. It's low odor, which it definitely is. Nine toxic free, so nine less of the toxic chemicals that are used to compose the gel product. Um, safe for skin, which always varies depending on, um, you know, individuals, although it's very uncommon. And then we have quality resin. Um, you know, I'm not really exactly sure what resin means, but I will get back to you guys on that. So keep an eye out. So here we have beautiful box. Let's open this up. Ooh, this kit comes with some super cute glitters. So we have some white hearts. We have a little variety of hearts in here. Some super cute purple holographic butterflies. This right here. Ooh, I love this. This is like, um, Mylar little glass sheets or kind of like mirror effect sheets. And then this one right here is actually a little bit of a mix. It has some stars and moons, and then let's see what else. Yeah, some different shapes of stars and moons. Really, really cute. And then this one's actually a little bit of a mix. It has some glitter, some butterflies. Really, really cute. Awesome. You also get a Beatles brush, which I'm actually gonna be doing a review on their brush. I have a, a brush kit, an art kit of theirs. And I love that some of their um, big complete 20 color kits come with these brushes. And this one actually has a dotting tool at the end. That's ideal for doing some really cute detail work. I love this. So definitely stay tuned for a review on their brushes. So their packaging, I love it. It always comes so neat, aside from it being so cute. It's always um, inside one of these little foam boards. And here we have all of their colors, beautifully organized. And then although the polish bottles are 0.5 milliliters, which is a little bit less than half of a normal size bottle, you do have bigger size bottles of your base coat, top coat, and your matte top coat. These should be, yeah, these are 7.5. So this is exactly half of a traditional gelish or OPI or DND bottle that you would get at the store. And then in all the packaging, where did it go? In all of their kits, you're always going to get this awesome application guide which if I can even get it opened, always goes over just the overall application, prep, curing, removal, and a couple of Q&A questions. I love that they include this in here too. All right, awesome. So lovely packaging. Now let's get these gels out so we can start the swatching and see how beautiful these colors are. All right, we're gonna get started with 864. As always, they do not have names, just numbers Ooh, super creamy this is a beautiful like beigey pink really really cute oh definitely a very pigmented color nice thick consistency although their consistency of polish is generally really nice rich thick but always really easy to brush on so i feel like i have a little hair that i got on my thing Get it out. No, you see it? It's right there. Okay, hair out. Look at that. Beautiful coverage. That's just one coat. I love it. It never fails. Ooh, right there. You can really see it. Super cute. These colors are so in right now. All right, let's see this one done. So here we go. Beautiful. Two coats. A lovely, lovely creamy color. 864. You cute. Let's check out the next one. Next we have 865. 865 looks like a softer and more darker 
kind of peachy color. Ooh, it's a little bit of a, definitely a soft color. Not so sheer, but definitely not intended to be a thick, creamy color. It's still really, really nice coverage. Get a little more even there, a little streak. There we go. Super, super cute. Soft color, really nice. Let's get that second coat on there. So here we have it, a beautiful color, soft. You can definitely do three coats if you want a more full coverage. It is really, really cute. Love it. Let's check out the next one. Next up we have 866. This is definitely looking like a really cute soft pink. And it is definitely a really cute soft pink. Nice thick consistency, really good coverage. Definitely looking like a full coverage even on the first coat. Super cute pink. My clients would love this one. Ooh, Patty, totally love this one. Really, really cute. Let's do the second coat. So here we have it, two coats, beautiful coverage, a super, super cute pink. Yeah, you could really see that color there. Really, really cute. Let's check out the next one. 867, come on up. We've got every shade of pink. Ooh, this is looking like it's gonna be a sheer. Really nice. We love sheer. Oh yeah, that's definitely sheer. I don't know about you guys, but we love sheer here in the shop. My clients in the beginning were definitely not too fond of it, but with all of their nails being so beautiful and healthy and always growing, once they started using it, they just couldn't stop and it has quickly become a favorite in the shop. And I'm telling you right now, this color is going to get used up real quick. Ooh, all my gel clients, we have a new sheer and this one is a beautiful tone. It's like rosy and beigey at the same time. Look at that, even one coat coverage is actually really nice, really even, not streaky. If you want it really soft, one coat you could totally get away with. But let's put the second coat on, let's check it out. So here we have it, two coats. Look how cute this color is. Adorable, and I love using sheer colors as backgrounds for nail art nails. So if you're using solid colors or white, Switch that out for a sheer and see how it makes your nail art pop and just totally change the aesthetic just by that one little move. But this one's a cute one, so 867, yeah, you're definitely gonna get used. Let's check out the next one. All right, so number 868, let's check you out. Oh, this one's a shimmery one. It definitely is like a gold shimmer. Yeah, you can see it really good there. Really cute. This is really nice. Might even be soft enough with one coat over a color as a top coat if you're putting it over a different shade of pink, maybe a darker one if you wanna make it a little bit darker. But that looks really nice. That's just one coat of coverage. That copper gold kind of pearlescent shimmer is really pretty. Let's check out the second coat. Here we have it, two coats. Ooh, new blood, there we go. It is a beautiful color. Definitely cute as an accent nail. I know some people shy away from shimmers, but don't, because some of them are super cute. And use it as an accent nail. That's such an easy way to incorporate a little something extra without it being too much. Really cute, let's check out the next one. Next up, we got 869. This one's looking like a pink salmon color. It definitely is like a salmon pink. Salmon pink is kind of like a reddish orange pink, I would say. Oh, and it's a little bit sheer. Not a little bit, it is a sheer. Really, really cute. Definitely a soft color. It's a cute tone. Let's put on a second coat. So here we have it, two coats. This is a really cute color, definitely soft. You can totally put a third coat on this to make it a little bit more full, although it does seem like it's intended to be a little bit more of a softer color. Super, super cute. Let's check out the next one. 870, this is looking like a sexy red. Let's check you out. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you can see that there. That's a pretty red and it looks very, yes, look at that. That first coat of coverage, I don't know why, but doing this right now makes me want to put on red lipstick and I don't even own lipstick. I might have some chapstick. Wow. 
that is a pretty red. Let me get this at an angle where you could like really, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's perfect right there. Wow, that's one coat. Look at that. I have my hand under it. It looks like it's perfect coverage. It's beautiful. Let's get a second coat on here. Okay, so here we go. Two coats. This is a beautiful red. Let me try to see if I can, oh, right there. This one's a really, really pretty red. This might be like the nicest, like really nice pop and bright red I have. Hold on one second. All right, let's put it to the test. So these are kind of like my brighter reds over here. Yeah, that one's definitely more intense than my, my, my bright reds. Ooh, this one's gonna be nice. My clients love reds. And let me tell you, when it comes to reds and skin tones, you guys need to have variety. They're important. All right, next up we have number 871. This one looks like a shimmery, and it is. Nice deep shimmer, really pretty. Definitely has like a pinkish undertone to this red, which I do love. I'm not usually a red, red person. It's gotta be like an orange red or a deeper pink red. And the shimmer in this is definitely like a gold tone shimmer. Let me see if you could, oh, there you go, you can see it there. Yeah, it's definitely like a gold tone, super cute. Let's finish this one up. And here we go. Two coats, beautiful red, nice gold shimmer, really, really cute. Let's check out the next one. All right, so next up we have number 872, also a red, definitely looks like a brownish, yeah. Kind of like a brown undertone red. Really pretty. You can never have too many reds. Oh, I love when colors are nice and thick and spread so smoothly. Super cute. Wow, that's just one coat. I am always so impressed when we get such great coverage, especially of these really pigmented colors, red. Colors tend to be really pigmented. Just one coat, let's finish this one up. Here we have two coats, beautiful coverage, beautiful color, really, really nice, very lovely. Let's check out the next one. Next up we have 873, definitely looking like a glitter polish, and it is. Ooh, this one has like, like a multitude of colors in the glitter, can you? Oh, you can see it right there, you see that reflection? It's not really just gold, it has like green and yellow and blue and pink, I see everything, almost like a hollow glitter. This one's really pretty, let's brush it out. Yeah, you could definitely see all the color. You know, this is really odd, I would never have guessed putting a variety of like this hollow glitter with a deep red, but it looks so nice, this is very festive. Can you see it there? Yeah, you can see it there. That's really great coverage, by the way. Great coverage just on one coat. You can even do that on a really deep red and put this coat over it if you wanna still get that awesome shimmer but get a deeper red undertone. You could totally do this as a top coat or a second coat. Really nice, let's finish this one up. And here we go, two coats. This one is such a cute glitter. I'm obsessed with this hollow multitude of color in this deep red. It definitely works and it's unique. I love when I see stuff that I haven't seen before. Super cute red. I'm, I'm hoping my clients like this one. Let me know if you guys are into this. Super cute. All right, let's check out the next one. Okay, so I went ahead and changed the positioning a little bit because I felt like the lighting was kind of getting in the way and my phone mount broke. I can't even say it broke, I broke it. So I'm using one that I tried out and didn't work for me as well as I'd like. So I do apologize for this temporary solution, but the lighting right now looks really, really good. I wanna make sure you guys are really getting these tones. And with that said, tones, we got 10 more to go. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit through this because uh, we wanna get to all these colors and don't forget to wait till the end so we can take a look at the matte look of all of these colors. So let's hustle, 874. Super cute, definitely a really cute hollow pink and can totally be used as a top coater by itself, but really, really cute. Let's check out the second coat. Second coat, beautiful color. It is definitely pink and multitude of other colors. Really cute, use it as a top coat for an accent nail. That'll look even hotter. Awesome, let's check out the next one. 
Next up, 875, looking like another soft pink. Ooh, a nice creamy pink. A little bit more pink than the last one that we did in the beginning of the swatches. Oh, this is such great coverage. One coat. Beautiful. Doo -doo. Let's check out the second coat. Here we got two coats, beautiful color. Definitely gonna be a favorite. Loving it. Check out the next one. 876 is up and we have here a beautiful pink. Ooh, this one has a little bit of a shimmer, which you can see there, and it definitely looks like a softer color it is. A little bit on the sheer side. Oh, but this is such a pretty tone. I love that the shimmer in this is really subtle. Really, really cute. Let's finish this one up. Here we have it, two coats. The shimmer is super, super subtle. So for those non-shimmer wearers, this one you could totally pass with. And it's pretty good coverage. It is meant to be a softer pink, but two coats gives you really nice even coverage. You can even do three if you want. Something a little bit more full, especially for those edges. Really cute. Let's check out the next one. 877, definitely looking like a glitter, maybe like a pink hollow glitter. Ooh, a hot pink. Hot pink, looks like mixed glitter it is. Oh, I love that, that's cute. Super great for accent nails, and of course, as the others, soft enough to where you can put it as a top coat on a color. Yeah, that would look super cute. You can definitely use this as a top coat. Let's check out two coats with this. Here we go, absolutely adorable color. Really nice, has a little bit of the gold shimmer in there. A little bit of chunky and fine glitter really really cute let's check out the next one all right next up we have 878 this one is looking like a hot pink oh it is a hot pink very creamy thick i'm expecting some pretty awesome coverage on the first coat and it's looking like some pretty awesome coverage on the first coat that is Perfect coverage on the first coat and a super cute color. Really nice hot pink. Let's check it out with two coats. Here we have it, two coats. This is such a pretty deep pink. There we go right here. You can see the tone of it really nice. It's definitely deeper. It's still a really nice, kind of like a hot pink vibe to it without being too hot. Really cute. Let's check out the next one. Next up, we have 879. This is definitely looking like a deeper mauve kind of pink. Dusty pink, I love these tones. Yeah, this one's definitely more of the terracotta. Yeah, that's the color I was thinking of. Ooh, love such good coverage and such smooth application. That is beautiful, right there you see it. That is gorgeous. Let's see this with two coats. So here we have it here, two coats. Look at that color, super, super cute. Sorry, I got a little fuzzy in there when I put the clear coat. Really, really cute. Let's check out the next one. We have 880, looking like a nice purpley pink. Love my description of colors, a purpley pink. That is totally a purpley pink. Really cute. It's looking like another really good application and coverage on the first coat. Beautiful. That one's cute. Great coverage, first coat, beautiful color. Let's check it out with two coats. And here we have it, two coats. This one's such a pretty color. Definitely a purpley pink. Thumbs up if y'all agree with me. Purpley pink all the way, love it. All right, let's check out the next one. Ooh, we're almost done guys three colors more stay with me. This one is 881 definitely looking like a fuchsia right fuchsia magenta You know, I gotta look up see what's the difference between the two Really cute kind of has the what's the hatter with you vibes And that one's from the OBI collection very cute color This one's really nice First coat is not as deep as coverage as the other colors, but you can definitely tell it's even coverage, good consistency, and you're gonna get good, full, rich coverage on that second coat for sure. Let's actually check that second coat out. So here we go, two coats, beautiful color. I keep getting fuzzies everywhere. Please forgive me. 
The whole shop is messy. Really, really cute. All right, let's check out the next one. 882, this one's definitely looking like a deep purple kind of color. Ooh, that is pretty. Put it over here so you can really, yeah, it's really nice. Looks like it's gonna be also, oof, great coverage on the first coat. Look at this, wow. I think this one's been the most satisfying to polish. Just, wow, pretty. Man, you could totally get away with one coat. That is nice. Let's check out the second coat. There we go. Wow, this is a beautiful color. Really nice, deep, rich. Super fall vibes for sure. Really, really cute. Okay, we have one more color to do. Last color, 883. It is time. This one looks similar to the last two, but like with a brownish undertone. Very nice, great coverage on the first coat, duh. Really, really cute. I mean, oh, coverage, first coat, beautiful. All right, let's finish this one up. Okay, so here is 883, final coat. Brownish undertone, absolutely lovely. Awesome, let's take a quick look at all of these colors together. So here we have it, all the colors in the Pink Generation collection, 20 colors. You have such a variety of shades. It's not just pinks. You have creams, you have shimmers, you have reds, salmon. You have these really deep kind of magenta, fuchsia colors, some glittery tones, some shimmery tones. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this pink one right here, super cute. And that red is sexy. Really, really nice. And let's check out the matte side as always. Look how beautiful these colors look in matte. I love doing matte over the shimmers because I feel like it gives it just a really awesome kind of texture effect. Look at this little one with the matte. It looks really nice. I never really matte out the glittery ones because those look kind of weird, but I guess for some art stuff, weird could be cool. But there you go. Drop a comment down below if you prefer matte glossy or if you love mixing and matching your manicures and having both matte and glossy within the same manicure because that's my personal favorite there you go i look forward to seeing what you guys think so there we have it we made it all the way to the end 20 colors swatched all of them beautiful such a great variety of shades you have great coverage great consistency you got the matte look for each of those colors so i definitely would love to know from you guys whether or not you like the glossy the matte or you like mixing a little bit of both in your manicures which is my personal favorite so if you want to get your hands on this pink generation gel kit i will leave the link down below on amazon it is 29.99 you can also find it at the beatles.com website which if you input oh my gel at checkout you'll save yourself an additional five percent get yourself a couple extra bucks back in your pockets um so that's it for today definitely stay tuned we have more color swatches product reviews that are going to be coming out so definitely stay tuned get those notifications on so you don't miss it because it's good stuff so i'll see you guys later thank you so much bye Ooh.